Welcome to the Black Basin Transit System. Oh. What in the everlasting fuck did that thing even do? Ensign Gonzalez, USS Dallas. Lieutenant Monroe, USS Enterprise. We've just come from the Dallas. Did she make it? We got there too late. Those creatures tore the ship apart. Damn. Where's the rest of the Dallas crew? The lower habitat ring. It'll take a while for the creatures to reach them. Here are their coordinates. What are you doing out here? Looking for supplies. We weren't sure how long we'd have to stay down there. Monroe to Tuvok. I'm relaying the coordinates to the Dallas crew. We are beaming them out now. Are you ready to beam out? And let you have all the fun? I'm staying. Okay then. Let's find an Atrexian engineer and get that defensive grid cranked up. Hey look, it's Tuvok's, uh, sorry not Tuvok, uh, Beesman's half-black brother. Named, uh, George... George Gonzalez. Or something. What the fuck kind of name is that? Also, this guy weighs like nothing. Holy shit. 60 kilograms? Are you joking? He's got like a fucking eat eating disorder, I think. I don't know what that is in, in pounds. It's something. Anyways. I'm pretty sure that's that's not enough. Okay, I'm apparently not allowed to go up here. So this really escalated quickly. Uh, Cover me! He even sounds like Beesman. I think I like him. Sounds pretty baller. Go ahead, you can take. You just got that shitty compression rifle. Over here, I'm Borja, Chief Engineer. I'm locked in. We'll need to find an alternate power source that'll open this door. Ten out of ten voice acting. What higher again? Dude, that's like that's like mic level of, of voice acting. We need to find a power source to open this door. I, I didn't say that this game wasn't without its flaws. Oh, let's go down here. Ah, oh, there's absolutely fuck all here. I just want to show you guys what it's like to see fuck all. Uh, I guess that's that's how you make it here. Can I can I go up? Whoa! 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 Uh, you know, 10 health, I'm gonna die. Okay, there we go. I, I've mastered the art of, uh, of uh, ladders. Well, we can't really make it over here. Luckily, there's a platforming segment right over here. It's what Monroe specializes in. Alright. We'll just go this way. Oh, look. There's shit. And there's stuff to modulate. Oh man, pipe minigame. This one looks kind of difficult, not gonna lie. Let's just do that, that one because it's like infinitely le looping on itself. Like, look at this, it's like a circle. My god. There you go, that, that should be fine. And then just put that down there, alright. Oh, and I fucked it up. Oh, red alert. I, I don't know what the fuck happens when you do that. I don't know how I fucked it up, to be honest. But you, but you guys probably know by now. Cause that won't go up there. I know that. Oh, that's why this one. Fuck me. I'm, 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 I'm lay dumb. I didn't see that one. But okay, I was just showing you an example of what happens when you short, short circuit it. Restore power to the generator. So there's one secrets and one starships. Ah. Uh, let's go back this way. I'm pretty sure we've restored power. Oh god, my arch nemesis going down ladders. Oh, there you go. You just crouch. So this is like a modified Quake engine. I remember one of the criticisms of this game is, like, it's a really fucking old engine. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to go down here. Oh, at least the, the thing's open now. Eh. If I get you to the main power core, can you get the defensive grid back online? Yes, but I need someone regulating the energy flow from here. I'll do it. Good. Stay here while I take Vorchov to the core. 
Okay, the kick. The main power core is below. We need to take the lift down. Let's go. I'll protect you while you reroute power. Ha. Ah. She thinks I'll actually protect her. Go. Open it. La -di da. So we can see space. The final frontier and all that. Alright, and so. We unfortunately have to protect her, so that's not going to be fun. Something about power generators. They look really weird. Not gonna lie, they look like slug things. Please don't want to hit me, dude. Look at that guy. <laughs> you know what? These. It must have always like this. This game, I'm pretty sure. It's just the fact that we got new drivers and new shit all the time. That's pretty much the problem, you know? Um, I, I just don't think that the game... This game is kind of a hack, and it w just doesn't cooperate with modern systems very well. I'm heading to the generators. I have to get all three online, or the grid will burn out. Okay, later. <laughs> have fun with that. Oh, look. Oh, it's a secret area. Nice. This is one of the secrets. You go back up and you just ditch her. Oh, and no, she's she's getting killed. Am, am I crushing one of them? Yeah, look at that. Good defensive positioning. Ten out of ten hazard team tactics. This is Monroe Maneuver Alpha 2. Why is that guy not dying? God damn it, stop doing that to me. Is she gonna get all three back online? Oh, I guess I'll leave. I'll just leave that guy there. And I'm- oh wow, I'm so fucking dead. So FYI, she's supposed to be safe while I'm up there. They're not supposed to attack her like they're doing right now. At least I'm pretty sure they're not. Oh, that hurt. I was a little bit close to that. God damn it. I, I am not doing very well at this. Holy shit. They fucking wreck me. This whole thing is just wrecking me. I fucking hate your impulse engines. Look how much goddamn help I have. It's a good thing I'm just fucking just right over here. Oh wow. You looked a lot bigger than you actually are. Maybe we won't get wrecked right away. 1v1 me, motherfucker. Alright, we got one left. Oh god. Arc! Wow, that does a lot of damage. What? I... I just exploded. Did nothing explode on me again? What the fuck was that even? Gonzalez, get us power. Power's on. Chell, turn on the weapon systems. Power's coming online now, Monroe. The 
grid neutralized the remaining invaders. The Atrexian space station is safe. I'm sending an away team to assist with the cleanup. Well done, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. One to beam up. Uh, later, trusting engineer, whatever. 49% accuracy. Lieutenant Monroe, please join us in sickbay. Aw oh, shit, it's Gonzalez. Hey, Monroe. No, it's not. Apparently everybody knows me. Alright, so where's, um... I have no idea where I'm going. He wants me to report- oh, I'm supposed to report to sickbay. I know where that is. I probably missed it already. It's somewhere in the middle. The same creatures that attacked the Dallas? Looks like it. I heard they nearly wiped out the entire space station. A lot of Atrexians were killed. As long as the remaining Dallas crew members are safe. That's a bit callous, don't you think? I'm just saying we could use the extra crew. You saw what they did to the Dallas. We need to be prepared in case they attack. We're not going to make the same mistake the Dallas made. We won't let them get close enough to attack. They like move their arms. Lieutenant Monroe, we are waiting for you in sickbay. Shut up, Picard, I'm coming. God. Thanks to the Hazard team, we have recovered many intact alien bodies. The doctor has studied their biological makeup. Doctor, how could a completely organic being contain a personal propulsion system? Genetic engineering at an unprecedented level. The carapace is sealed to provide protection from the vacuum of space. And their personal impulse drives generate enough heat to keep their muscle and organ systems metabolizing. What about intelligence? No clear determination. They do have large clusters of nerve tissue densely packed into the exoskeletal cranium. But it's not organized into any structures that we would recognize as a higher brain region. Fascinating. Lieutenant, what did you see in their behavior to indicate intelligence? Hard to say, sir. They were able to act cohesively and attack in groups. But they didn't appear to communicate with one another or formulate plans. They appeared to be acting mostly by instinct. That would argue against self-directed intelligence. I also found this, a non-organic device fused into a small nerve cluster at the base of the cranial region. What's its function? Unknown. The technology is too alien for any easy assessment. We're working on it now. Lieutenant, research the Atrexian people. We need to know who their enemies are. Aye, sir. I also want you to create new tactics for fighting these aliens. Aye, sir. Though our tactical wing is weaker without Franklin. That's a grave loss. I'll consult with Tuvok on a suitable replacement. If I may, sir, I'd recommend Ensigns Murphy and Gonzalez. They're both on temporary assignment to the Enterprise. Very well. I'll assign them both to the Hazard team. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant, you did well. A good man died, but many more live thanks to your quick thinking. Thank you, sir. You notice how the camera's like awkwardly going back and forth? That's fucking weird. Oh shit, Picard left. Oh, I need a medical station. What? Wait, do I even, I don't even have the hazard suit on, do I? Yeah, look, uh, you can see my arm. I think I have the hazard suit. All right. Thanks for bringing back this alien. It's yielding a lot of useful information. You see, she weighs... Look at this, look at this. She weighs like 51 kilograms. Whatever. I believe you have a planet to investigate, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh my god, he turned around so quickly. Use caution, <laughs> as you will likely encounter other aliens on your mission. Oh, uh, I'm not fucking with Tuvok anymore. Hey, Gerard, what's up? I find the medical services on this ship to be most impressive. 46 kilograms? Monroe, I'm about to receive a physical. Oh, thanks. It's good to have Telsia back. Okay. I find the medical services on this ship to be I, I, I liked it when we were talking about getting a physical. I love that kind of shit. Can I help you? Are you doing the physical? Can I help you? No, I guess not. You're just gonna tell me, can I help you? Oh, dude, can I do another thing? Corban? I yearn for battle. Oh, whatever. Can I, can I fuck around in the holodeck? Alright, engage, uh... Oh, whatever. I can't do that. Apparently all we have here are... shotguns and... Oh, look, look, look at this gun. 
Look at these are two guns that actually we get later in the game, and they're here, and they're just sitting here as if like we're we're just saving them for a rainy day, you know? Like guys, I don't think you know, but we have these personal like transporter buffers. Federation assault rifle. It's a big improvement. I disagree. Nothing really beats the compression rifle for pure skill. That depends on the situation. For sheer damage to a close target, I'll take the assault rifle over the compression rifle any day. There's no skill involved in firing a weapon like that. You'll hit anything closer than three meters. Some situations call for that kind of firepower. I prefer the compression rifle's ability to hit targets at range. To each his own. You know, this guy sounds like me, and I think he's a massive faggot, so I should tell you a lot of things about me. I'm, I'm a huge hypocrite. All right, let's go research in the library. Deck 11, library. Uh, we got one secret and one starship. All right, so let's go. Let's see, where are we going to do research? Library, astrometrics, and cargo bay. Okay. And where are we? We're right here, so. Oh, no, let's just explore. Would you like to join me in the holodeck? I'm starting a holo program to view the flora of Andoria. Sounds interesting. You might want to bring a weapon. What do we need weapons for? The flora are not necessarily friendly. In fact, they're carnivorous. What about the safety protocols? How do you study plants in their environment if you eliminate their ability to interact with their surroundings? I don't really think I'm up for being eaten by a plant today. Come on, it'll be fun. I just remembered I have an appointment with the ship's counselor. Plant lady. Please don't disturb me. Oh, oh, oh. Please don't disturb me. Please don't disturb me. Please don't disturb me. You're, you're just lucky I don't have any weapons. I'll try quarter you instead. 54 kilograms. Okay. She's a botanist. Fucking plant lady, honestly. So creepy. I'm busy. Okay. Oh, Stella Cartographer. Nice. Dude, we can now do nothing, apparently. Can we just jump down here? Nope. Because we can see space. That's pretty much all that, that the purpose that room serves is space. All right, well, um, I, you know, I'm glad they put it in there. This guy is so busy just walking around the hallways. Hi, Monroe. Telsia. I'm glad to see you up and around. I'm fine. There's no lasting damage from my time in the pattern buffer. You're lucky. That was quite a stunt. I'm ready to go back on duty. Good. Because I want you and Gonzalez on the hazard team. I'm glad to see Gonzalez on the team. He's an experienced combat tactician. Almost as experienced as you. I need your expertise to help me figure out these aliens. Is that all you need? Oh, uh oh. Okay, all right. Now, you probably guessed from the last interaction I had with uh, Telsia is... I just, I enjoy just fucking around with her, just because it's hilarious when you do all the bad things. She goes, you can go, you can have her go do research with you, and there's some sort of, like, romantic, th like, moment where she's like, you know, I don't know what the fuck she does, but this is even funnier. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> oh, man, didn't even say anything. It's the most, <laughs> it's such an awkward relationship between these two. It's hilarious. Can I help you? Oh, fuck. Alright, so... We can read about Atrexians. Uh, so... They're an alien workhouse society... I don't know, some... You can read it. Just pause it if you want to. I uh, like they're boisterous and unrefined. Hmm. Really, this is just... It's required reading, everyone. There's gonna be a test on this right after. I don't know, it's just it's explaining stuff about this, the, I don't know, the species. We, we don't even get to see what the Idril look like yet. Yeah, I have no central home. Okay, I think we're done. I want to read about the Borg. Hey, look, see, there's a uh, space. Apollo 11. Yeah, this is just the same thing. And what else is there? Mojave, okay. And more Apollo 11. Wow, why is this the only thing we have here? Why do they have libraries in the future? We don't need Lieutenant even... Monroe, report to the hazard team briefing room. On my way. We don't even need fucking, like, libraries. Anyways, okay, so let's go into this room. 
Oh, look at this. So, uh, the joke here is I think that, like, uh, since all the sets are made out of, like, uh, plywood, that this is, like, an unfinished part of the set. At least that's what we think the joke is. So it's, yeah, whatever. And also, they this is how they do their, uh, their laundry in the, uh, I don't know, 24th century or whatever. All right. That, that was a secret here. I, I hope it was worth the wait. All right, let's go. Hazard Ops. Hey. Do you think those aliens will attack the Enterprise? Yes. It's a miracle anyone on the Dallas survived. No. Their struggle to stay alive must have been formidable. No. Do you think those aliens will attack the Enterprise? He's repeating himself. All right, so there's no secrets here. Let's go. Let's go talk to Picard before he starts yelling at me again. Nope. Uh, oh no, this is the. Uh, I don't even. I still don't know what my password is. It's not like there's anything in there that I'm not already wearing. Apparently. Am I not team leader? Why should? Why am I not up there? We've traced the aliens to the fifth planet. The hazard team is going to Vioc Epsilon Five. It's an uncolonized Class M planet in a Trexian space. Sensors found trace levels of the propulsion signature left by the aliens' personal impulse drives. The aliens attacked the Atrexian space station from the fifth planet. But how did they get to the fifth planet? That's what we want you to find out. Is it inhabited? We have detected a shuttlecraft and multiple life forms, but not the aliens you fought on the Dallas. However, there is an area where our sensors cannot penetrate. That area corresponds to the end of the propulsion trail. Other than that, the planet looks undisturbed by sentient creatures. Investigate and report back what you find. Aye, sir. Our answers are down on that planet. Corban, Talsia, Chell. You're with me. Why Chell? Fuck. I hate Chell. Yeah, that's about it. 